we will start with module 4 first part which is corona so this topic mainly covers the phenomena of corona advantages of corona factors affecting corona methods of reducing corona the derivation for critical disruptive voltage and visual disruptive voltage as well as the power loss due to corona so let me explain one by one in detail the first one let us see about corona phenomena so corona is nothing but the ionization of air surrounding the conductor so if you take the atmosphere already there will be some free electrons existing in the atmosphere due to radioactivity and the cosmic rays so when you apply a potential between conductors or let us consider a current carrying conductor it carries an AC voltage so because of this potential between the conductors there will be a gradient potential gradient around the conductor surface at the surface of the conductor the gradient will be maximum we all know the potential gradient is the ratio of voltage and distance so at the conductor surface since the distance is less the potential gradient will be more so in the atmosphere the free electrons will be moving with certain velocity so this velocity this small velocity with which the electrons moves will not be sufficient to collide with the other air molecules but the collision of the free electrons with the air molecules happens when you increase the voltage of the current carrying conductor so when you increase the voltage of the conductor the velocity with which the free electron moves also increases so this increased velocity is sufficient to collide with other air molecules which in turn dislodges the electrons from the air molecules so as a result more and more electrons will be liberated in the air so number of electrons goes on increasing so hence we can tell this ionization process or the formation of the electrons will be cumulative it's an electron avalanche so after a certain time the complete ionization of the air surrounding the conductor happens so this complete ionization of air surrounding the conductor leads to corona so for low voltage the ionization effect will also be less but if the applied voltage exceeds the voltage called as the critical disruptive voltage we can see a faint violet glow surrounding the conductor so this violet glow is accompanied by a hissing sound ozone production power loss and radio interference so all this effects together constitutes the corona effect and if we still keep on increasing the applied voltage between the conductors there forms a spark or flashover between the current carrying conductors so already told for normal low voltage there not be any ionization when the applied voltage exceeds the critical receptive voltage the corona occurs and the potential gradient at which corona occurs is 30 kilovolt per centimeter so voltage is in kilovolt potential gradient is kilovolt per centimeter so when the potential gradient is almost 30 kilovolt per centimeter the velocity occurred by the electrons will be sufficient to dislodge more and more electrons 
leading to electron avalanche in turn causes the corona so if you take the severity of this corona for polished and smooth conductors it is less and we can see a uniform glow throughout the length of the conductor but in if the surface is not smooth then we can see spotty glows and again the appearance of the corona varies for a dc transmission line as well as an ac transmission line so if you take a dc transmission line if you in the positive wire the positive conductor positive current carrying conductor corona occurs as a bluish white glow whereas in the negative conductor corona occurs as a spotty glow so i told one term which is the critical disruptive voltage so it's the voltage at which corona occurs there is one more voltage called as the visual critical voltage that is the voltage at which we can see the corona on the transmission line with the normal eyes so the two voltages are critical disruptive voltage and visual critical voltage critical disruptive voltage is the voltage at which corona occurs visual critical voltage is the voltage at which we can see the violet glow on the conductor so the derivation for critical disruptive voltage and visual critical voltage will be done later so what is corona and how it is formed so the ionization of wire surrounding the conductor is called corona and what are the effects of corona faint violet glow hissing noise ozone production power loss radio interference and when the corona occurs when the voltage exceeds the critical disruptive voltage for air it is 30 kV per centimeter so now let us discuss the factors that affect the corona so the factors that affect the corona are atmospheric factors conductor size spacing between conductors and the line voltage so let us discuss how the atmospheric condition is going to affect the corona so in the case of a stormy weather there will be more ions compared to the standard weather so more ions in the sense more free electrons will be already existing so the avalanche effect will happen at a lesser voltage that means the corona will occur at a lesser voltage the second factor is conductor size so if you take a rough and irregular surface the chances of corona occurrence is more the reason is potential gradient is nothing but voltage divided by distance so if you take a spiky surface on the a spiky thing on the conductor surface so what will be the distance between the two spiky spots of the two conductors will be reduced compared to the smooth surface okay so when the potential gradient is more corona will be more so because of the presence of spikes or irregular projected surfaces the distance reduces potential gradient which is inversely proportional to the distance will increase so as a result the corona will occur at a lesser size lesser voltage so what is the effect of conductor size on the corona the rough and irregular surface increases the corona formation at a lesser voltage so that's the reason why the stranded conductor will have more possibility for corona occurrence the third factor is spacing between the conductors so already we have a clear definition that potential gradient increases corona occurrence will be more chance of corona occurrence will be more so more spacing between the conductors will reduce the potential gradient which in turn reduces the corona occurrence so increase the spacing between the conductors to reduce the effect of corona and the last factor is the line voltage so as i told 
potential gradient is equal to voltage by distance voltage is directly proportional to potential gradient potential gradient is directly proportional to voltage so if for transmission lines with higher line voltage the corona occurrence will be more so these are the four factors which affect the corona atmospheric factors conductor size spacing between conductors and line voltage now if you see the methods of reducing corona we have two methods one is by increasing the conductor size second one is by increasing the conductor spacing as already i have told in the classes many number of times the transmission lines mostly are acsr conductors so acsr conductors you know aluminum core steel reinforced okay so the conductor size will increase with the lesser weight so since the usage of acsr conductors increases or sorry reduces the corona formation we prefer acsr conductors for the transmission lines that is one advantage the second advantage for using acsr is because of its reduced weight and the skin effect the second method to reduce corona is by increasing the conductor spacing because the potential gradient is inversely proportional to distance between the conductors by increasing the distance between the conductors potential gradient can be reduced which in turn reduces the voltage at which corona occurs so in this video we have covered the theory of corona formation the factors affecting corona as well as the methods to reduce corona so in the next video i will explain you how to derive the expression for critical disruptive voltage and visual critical voltage